Just got these in the mail. They're never sharp out of the package. But I'm going to be using a tool to test to see how easy it is, or not easy, it is to sharpen these. This is a broadhead sharpener. Got carbide teeth on it. I'm just going to be testing this to see what I can do with them. Let's see if they'll slice paper after just using this little tool. It's made by Alan. Here's an example right out of the box. You know, they look all shiny. Oh yeah, I'll take those out. No. Here's a piece of paper. It might have cut it an eighth of an inch. That's it. So I'm going to use this tool. Typically I go about maybe 25 or 30 strokes with it. Typically start with a point. Don't push real hard, just a gentle drag across it. You can feel it smoothing it out. Basically, you start out with a little bit of a grind, then you end up with a polish. You still feel it start to get smooth. It may, I may have to prep this because the bevel may be too narrow on it. That sliced a little better. That went through about a quarter of an inch. May need to work on it about a quarter of an inch. But uh, what you can do with these to make sure that it's getting all the way down in the notch and you're not just sharpening the shoulders of the bevel instead of the blade of the bevel. You just blacken them with a big, nice, big, fat tip marker. Totally blacken them out. Make sure the very edge is black anyway. And then uh, run this down at eight or ten times. And then look at the edge and see what it looks like. Make sure it's in the edge of the bevel and not the shoulders of the bevel. Yeah, looks like it's getting the edge for the most part. We'll do this one. Sometimes you have to put these on a grinder, flatten the bevel out. I'll take a file to them, kind of prep them up, make them. Sometimes you have to prepare a broadhead to sharpen it before you actually start sharpening it. Yeah, it's right on the edge, see? So it is actually sharpening it. And you may have to do it 40, 50, 60 times to really get some uh, acceptable sharp. You can slice this paper easily. Yeah, oh yeah, that's getting better now. Yeah, now that slice is about a half inch. So, just keep on going back with it. Sometimes, I think it helps to sharpen the blade in both directions. Okay, it kind of turns the burr back and forth. It refines it a little bit. You finish your, your blade at the end, at the back of the blade, is the most critical part of the blade, because that's what's going to be cutting the widest part of the hole. And once you get it like this, you know, when you, every time before you go hunting, just pull them out of your quiver, quiver and hit them 12, 15 times on each side. Maybe do a little paper test. Sometimes in the fish you can't do that, but... Yeah, it's starting to get pretty sharp now. Yep. I have to work on the tip a little bit, but the back two-thirds of the blades are getting pretty dang sharp. 